this video, the installation of Isabel PBX5 on a server running the Rocky Linux operating system. Using an installation script will be performed. It is important to keep in mind that the installation using ISO files for both Isabel's 4 and 5 versions is performed in other videos. To carry out this installation, it is necessary to have a Rocky Linux 8 server mounted. It will not be possible to install Isabel 5 on versions 9 or higher of this Linux distro. In this case, Rocky Linux 8.9 is used. The minimum server requirements are 2 GB of RAM memory, 2 CPU processors, 12 GB of storage memory. The recommended server requirements are 4 GB of RAM memory, 4 CPU processors, 30 GB of storage memory. In general, these values are enough to set up test and stage systems. For production environments, it is recommended to evaluate the system requirements to establish appropriate values. First of all, it is necessary to enter the terminal or command line of the server, where the installation is going to be implemented through SSH with a user that has root permissions on the system. To start this process, it is necessary to execute the command shown on the screen, which will download and run the Isabel 5 installation package. The installation window manager will be displayed, in which it is necessary to select the language to use in the PBX. It is possible to move between options using the up and down arrows, as well as select the desired option with the spacebar. Also, it is necessary to select the asterisk version to install, which for Isabel 5, must be number 18. Afterwards, options will be shown to install additional packages, including the Isabel network modules, the security and IP attack block modules, and the Sangoma drivers to be able to install hardware on the PBX. The installation process of all the necessary dependencies, both of the system and of Isabel, will begin. This process may take several minutes depending on the capacity and technical features of the server. Next, it is necessary to enter a password for the root user of the database to be used in the PBX. This password must be confirmed. Also, it is necessary to enter a password for the PBX administrator user. This password must be confirmed. Additionally, it is necessary to select the port, which will be used by default for SIP and PJ SIP connections. The selected option will use port 5060 and the unselected option will use port 5066. Finally, a notice will be shown to support the Isabel project. The server will reboot after completing the installation process. When connecting to the server again, through SSH, some messages from Isabel, the version of asterisk installed, and other performance and system usage metrics are displayed. Also, the IP address through which you can access the PBX administration interface is displayed. When accessing this IP through a browser, a warning indicating that the connection is not secure will be displayed. It will be necessary to access the advanced configuration options to allow navigation to the required IP. The browser will redirect the current route to the login page of the PBX administration interface. Here, the admin user credentials must be filled out, which were previously set. Finally, it is possible to access the administration interface with all its available options which will be reviewed in other videos. In this way, the installation of Isabel PBX5 on a server running the Rocky Linux operating system, using an installation script, has been performed.